Yo. Okay, and this motherfucker, what up, though? What's good, gang? What's what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? What's going on? Welcome going to the on? fucking Polyfly show, fool. Yo, what's up, man? I hear this Polyfly going crazy, man. That part. Y'all we gonna talk straight. about it. Y'all be we gonna talk about it. It's time. Nah, it's definitely time, man. It's definitely time. Oh. I know your question is about to be spicy. You know it is. I'm trying to get the girls up in here real quick. We got to do this the right way. Nah, that's I got to get my beautiful co-host in this motherfucker. Let me send everybody this live too, man. That part. Well, let me do my little intro. Welcome to the motherfucking Polyfly Podcast. It is your host of the most controversy, Cardi L. Rich. And I got my special guest in this bitch. Introduce yourself. What's going on, man? It's the flies of America, man. Smooth Lindo, you heard? That we part. Barbie tell, them, tell, them, tell them where you coming from, though. Yo, I'm out in New York, man. I'm on Barbie Wants Both on Now That's TV. Stay tuned. January 15th, the first episode dropping. It's about to get crazy, y'all. It's about to get it's spicy. It's, it's already spicy. Y'all seen the trailer, right? How you feel about it? I did that? see the trailer. And you know my questions is coming. How you my questions about is coming. How you feel about all right. Look, well, first of all, I think it's dope. But do you want my honest opinion? Of course. Honesty is key. So, Laura, what's up? Shawty, what up? In my honest opinion, hold on. You know, you know honesty is key, man. In my honest opinion, Deron, what's up? You know, fuck it. I'm gonna just get on my bullshit. I'm on my king of controversy shit. Nah, Honestly cool. speaking, I low key feel like now that TV stole my show a little bit. But, but, because you've been jumping with the little poly stuff, I've been seeing you, man. You you might have to put me on game. I might join the poly side. I, I might need two. We gonna talk about that too because we gotta actually break down this whole poly movement. Like I respect, listen, I respect it if that's what it really is. You feel me? But right. at the same time, I don't want to confuse the lines of what poly is. Okay. Right. And then also, people don't know there's two different types of polys. There's polyamorous, and then there's polygamous. See See, I'm glad that I'm getting on the live with you and you explaining this because look, my honesty, bro, I'm going to tell you right now, I was never into the poly stuff. You feel me? Like, right. let's keep it. I, I don't know nothing. I'm not, no offense to anybody. In no, poly. no, look, it's been know. around for years, but it's not popular. Right. It's not popular. Know, like, I don't have a back. All right. I know poly is two fucking three people in a relationship. Yeah, we know that. You know, but, like, we know that. But any. Anything other than like I didn't know there was laws and rules to this shit. You feel me? Like Yeah, okay, cause like polygamy is more so when it's like like a group venture. Like everybody's mm -hmm. in one relationship, mm -hmm. everybody in that relationship is fucking each other, like that's okay. polygamy, like one big kumbaya right. type of thing. Polyamory is like you have separate relationships with each individual, Maybe. but every individual is on the same page as far as, okay, I know you fuck with other people. You know, I fuck with other people. We have an understanding. We good. Right. Makes sense. See that? That makes a little bit more sense. You feel me? You had to, look, you had to come to the real poly <laughs> yeah, that, show to get the answers. You <laughs> You had to come to the real poly fly show to get the answer. Now that I'm thinking about it, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, all right, cool. So I, I wasn't really trying to be on some poly. You feel me? Like I wasn't trying to fuck everybody. Like all right, so so let's let's get to that question. How did how did the casting process go? Like how did you end up there? So I'm not gonna lie to you. Um. Shout out to my little cousin, man. He was the one that put me on to actually Zeus and Jocelyn's Cabaret. Okay. So I started watching, jo I think that came out like two years ago. I watched it yeah. the first time last summer. Like, 
I really I don't be into the TV stuff like watching. Right, 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 right. You know, I don't be watch, watching TV. So when I seen Jocelyn's Cabaret, that's when I got familiar with Lucky, Sapphire, Barbie, Big Legs, um, Lucky, uh, what was her name? Lexi Blow. You know, all these girls. I started getting uh -huh. in tune with them. Then I started following Barbie, and I found out that Lex had a show on Now That's TV. So, so it went from there. I started following her. Then I just seen her little casting royal little video. Right. I was like, oh, fuck it. Let me, let me try. But what I am going to say, and this is what I want to make sure that I put this out there, be like on behalf of us as studs, they don't put us on TV. They do not put us on TV. No, they so, like to hide us in the background. Exactly. Because I feel like with us, they want you to pick and choose. You're going to dress like a girl. You're going to dress like a boy. You know, like, are you going to get on the show and dress like a girl? Because that's how we're going to put you on? Or are we, not, you know? Look, so we're not funny you brought that conversation up, right? So, like, August 13th is my 20-year anniversary in the business. That's what's up. Yeah, but it's been a fucking it's struggle. It's oh, look at this crazy person. I got a couple questions was, for you, too. Would you mind if I, like, you know, imposed on... If if she is willing to come up here, I got some questions for your ass, too. Ooh. But, Miss Miss Lauren. Oh, deja vu. <laughs> All right, so let's get to, mad cool. let me get to my first... Yeah. Let me get to my first famous question, right? I got two famous questions on this podcast that start trouble. I'm just going to tell you in advance. <laughs> so when you leave, you don't run and say it's all Cardi's fault. Stop, man. All right. Favorite cast member? Um, Barbie wants both. Least favorite cast member? Go. All right. My favorite cast member out the whole show got to be Toxic. Can I pick two? Favorites? Yeah, or just one? No. All you get one. Toxic. That got to be my favorite cast member. And then my least favorite, I'm going to tell you this, my least favorite, I don't even know her real name. That's how bad it is. So I, I am going to say her name on the show. So fuck it, it's Trap Selena. Like, that's her name on the show. I don't know her real name, but that was my least favorite. And the only reason why I got a favorite cast member is because... Because, honestly, I'm the favorite, obviously. But the only reason why I got a favorite cast member is because as the show reveals, y'all going to see how I looked on the show, and y'all going to be able to tell certain things. You feel me? I can't say too it much. because It was getting talk. spicy. I saw a couple things, and it was looking a little spicy. Nah, it got, it got a little spicy. It got I spicy. saw some pool shit going on. Man. All right, let's clear this up. Let's clear this up. There was a stud fighting Lucky Hustler, and everybody wants to know if it was you. Nah, it wasn't me. Uh, <laughs> listen, I'm going to let this be known right now. I wasn't trying to fight Lucky. I was trying to fuck Lucky, if you want to be real. Like, come on, man. We in a house full of females. Let's keep it a thousand. You feel me? <laughs> we going to keep it a thousand. But you that know. was not me fighting Lucky. Every Yo, the DMs I'm getting is like, yo... We'll kill you over Lucky. We'll do this. Yo, yo, her fans, she better salute them. Because they going crazy in my DMs. And I'm like, guys, that's not me. I was cool calling okay. them. So was she a cast member on the show? Yeah, she was. She was a cast member. She definitely, yeah. I, I know we, we going to hear that a lot when the show is. They going to be like, what the hell? But honestly, we didn't know Lucky was coming at all. Hopefully they'll put the reactions and y'all see when we look we was like, when I seen her coming down the steps, I'm like Lucky? I know I seen her in the promo video, but the people that was in the promo wasn't all cast members, you know? Right, right, so I didn't really right. think of anything. But when we seen her come in the house, we was like, Lucky? Okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Thing, right? The first thing I thought when I seen Lucky was she was a spy. Because Lucky's not gonna be there for her love. I don't. I don't. I didn't think that. You know. So that part. I was like, from Lucky, they smart. Cause Lucky's gonna be the one buddy buddy with everyone and trying to get tea, and then she gonna go, go back to Bobby. Oh. So 
Yeah. You know, up, so much up, that I want to say. It's and so then, much that I want to say. We don't know. We don't know what Lucky did or like said during the show until we watch the show. We don't know what half of us said. Uh, we don't, I don't know what know. any of us said in confessionals. So we mm. won't even know. Like I don't know if she was an actual fighting for her love cast member or a cast member to be a spy. My opinion, she was a spy. But uh -huh. we won't find out. Uh -huh. the show. That's not. That's what is given. Is is very much so. Nah, that, that's what. It, that, that's that's kind of what is given. I because I spy with my little eye a couple people that were very close to a poly relationship, very close to a lot of people involved. What? You know you that I don't got. Mm. Oh, oh, I have plenty. Shout out, you know what? Shout out to the Coming Up LA cast. Yo, for real. I'll fuck you coming up LA. Shout out to the Coming you Up know, LA cast. Shout out to y'all. Um, I, I, you know, for for bringing me um around now that's TV and bringing now that's TV around me. And, you know, congratulations on, on um the second Polly Fly show. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> I'm being petty. Not, so not now, to you, man. We gonna play one of my favorite games. Let's but Chanel, it. you gotta answer first. Okay. Chanel, you gotta answer first. So we gonna play my favorite game, right? Let's do it. Fuck, Mary, kill. Fuck, Mary, kill. I'm gonna give All you right. three names. You gotta tell me which one you gonna fuck, which one you gonna marry, which one you gonna kill. All right, cool. Chanel, you go first. Letho, you go. And then I'm going to go. All right. All right. Barbie, Big Lex, Lucky Hustler. Oh, this is easy. This is easy. I'm going to get my ass too for this, but this is easy. Yeah, Chanel, you better think wisely about her motherfucking answer. I'm just saying. I don't know. Are you putting fuck, I'm a, fuck, marry, or kill? Neither, none of them? I'm a kill lucky. What? Spicy. Why? Oh, right. No, actually, I'm a kill Barbie. I'm a, I'm a fuck lucky, and I'm a married big like, like. Okay. okay, why would you marry Big Lex? Because I don't want to marry Lucky. Or Barbie. And that was just the last option. All right, I understand. I feel you. No. I'm not into girls, though. Them type of girls. Okay. What type of girl are you into? Ew. Ha ha. Ha ha. Now, later. Good answer. Go ahead with Good your answer. answer. Go ahead. Go ahead. Good answer. I so need you that. said, you fuck, said Mary fuck, kill. fuck, Mary kill, right? And I got Bobby, Lucky, and Big Lex. Yep. All right. So I'm a Mary Lucky, I'm a fuck Bobby, and I'm a kill Big Lex. Why are you killing Lex? <laughs> because technically. Technically, that's the last option I got, and she's a boss. You feel me? That, that That's my boss. <laughs> so we can't mix business and pleasure, man. You're going to have to get up out of here. Well, it be mixing, I but... Mean, right, but <laughs> I, 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 I'm I it no gets a little mixy, I'm, I'm just comment. saying. Hey, look, don't feel so bad, bro. I'm fucking my cast, too. You feel me? Like, it all depends. You feel me? All right, but so y'all. I, I do gotta go with that's that's how I'll do it though. I'll I'll fuck Barbie, you know, it's an easy kill. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck Barbie. I'm gonna marry Lucky and I'm gonna kill Lex, man. Nothing personal to Lex. It's just can't mix business and pleasure, man. All right, right so so I'm gonna kill Barbie. I'm gonna tell tell you why when I lead into the question, because I got a question, and my question is probably why I would kill Barbie. So. Oh. I Going to, hmm. hmm. 
I'm a fuck big, big legs. Cause she right. always talk about how she got that thing. You feel me? So I that just has, what the life is mm, about. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I, I would marry Lucky probably just cause she a Pisces. Okay. Yeah. Why not Barbie? Barbie got too. <sighs> I think Barbie got too many bodies. And Lindo, how many bodies you think Barbie got? Because I saw that meme you dropped. <laughs> Yo, they going crazy in my DMs. I'm not going to lie. I mean, we all know Barbie. We know what she do, man. I can't throw a number out there, really, because we all know what she do. You feel me? Like, we know what she work. A hundred plus. A thousand plus. I mean, look. If you watch Deja Vu, nigga said Diamond had 2,000. So y'all do the math from there, man. You Barbie probably got more bodies than Diamond. No disrespect, Diamond, but Barbie probably got more bodies than Diamond. Mm. I mean, I don't know, man. That's that's they neck and know. neck in the body. They body to body. Probably, probably. So they probably on the like same level, like feel me? Who is the weakest link in the house? Oh, Trap Selena. That was the weakest link. I can't say too much, but that clip that you seen with the cop in it, that, that the girl was talking to the cop, right. Selena called the cops on us. And y'all gonna see y'all gonna see why, y'all gonna see everything on the on the season once it come out. It kinda um it kinda showed in the trailer. Like it her being speaking, the, speaking of the police. Baby, I'm gonna need you not to be arguing on live with the police. Oh no, I'm not no, arguing with no. the police. Oh, Chanel, okay. you was on live arguing with the police earlier, and I'm gonna need you not to be doing that. Yeah, yeah. Who's the police? Crime Stopper Rex. I was arguing. Ooh. Ooh. That was my be. Okay. Don't argue with the police. We don't argue. With the police, I, I was okay. on. I was on. Um, season two is a for a little office. fee. They will eat that cheese. You are on. Do so I, I don't know that. I don't know that girl. She replaced me. They replaced me as a Scorpio and put bunny racks. So wait, wait. no, 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 where? no, 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 no. Replaced you where? Zodiac House. Oh, you that. was TV. doing what the new season? Mm -hmm. She was going to, and I then, was gonna uh, fight the CEO. Nina, mm -hmm. you, you too. <laughs> Why everybody want to fight her? She was just on live arguing with the big three. Well, she well, me and, uh, me, saw me a bipolar stud she too. Fought, so, um, she fought one of our cast members. She fought Portugal all her cast members. This new yeah, she fought Portugal. They fought in Zodiac House. She tried to do me like Portugal, and it was yeah. work like that. Yeah. Basically. Yeah, that that was crazy. I mean, Portugal get active, man. Mm -hmm. Y'all seen the trailer? She got That's active my baby. in the house too. She, I, I love she Portugal. Definitely got active in the house too. Oh, she did. Yeah, she did. She was in oh, the, the trailer. If you see the little trailer clip, she was in there getting active and everything. That's what's oh, up. Man. Not for nothing. It it does look like a lit show. Like one thing about me, I'm no hater. I am no hater. I give credit when credit is due. It looked like it's a dope show. Shout out to you. Shout out to Barbie. Shout out to the cast. Now, shout out to y'all, man, for bringing me on here, too. You man. already you know. For real. You yeah, already know. Like and, and I know I'm going to have to bring you back because you can't really tell me everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I ain't going to lie. I'm probably going to be the one telling everything because I don't give a fuck. Maybe I'm going to tell you. Y'all watching it while we can't tell it. I wish I could tell now, but it's like... I mean, you can... I believe you can say anything that is in the trailer. You know, yeah, I, anything I, that y'all seen all over the internet, anything that y'all seen, I can answer certain questions. Yeah, yeah well, sure. well, I've been I've been getting Zeus and now that's TV cast members in trouble for, like, the last two years with this podcast. Like, yo. Now, yeah. <laughs> that's on the trailer i could definitely speak on the trailer but anything that's not of course we can't you know so, so 
So anything on the trailer, you could definitely ask me about. Was it giving... I just want to ask for me personally. Was it given she was really looking for love? Like, did it really feel like y'all were looking for love or actively trying to engage in a polyamorous or polygamous relationship? I honestly, that was my first rodeo with anything poly. So, you know, my answer to myself was that. But it was like, just like, I don't know what the fuck I was doing. You feel me? Biggie, but biggie, biggie. As a cat. As, as a cast, I felt like the cast, probably like, like one person was given that. I'm saying, did it feel genuine? Because yeah, from one person, I, from one I, cast I, member. I, yo, now, I, I will say, y'all are the first poly show showing because I didn't film yet. But I didn't film yet because I was like really strategically trying to pick my girls because like, I want to show a polyamorous relationship. I, right. I was not in a relationship with any of these girls when I started talking to them. Like, over the course of time and meeting people like Chanel, she applied pressure. Ling, who's missing right now, she applied pressure. So, like, I started building a real relationship with them. So now it, the show is more so geared towards our relationship, not no. so much trying to find a relationship. Because initially, the idea was for me to find a poly relationship. And I happened to find it in the course of looking because bitches was mad fake. Like, when I tell you... Hey, 90% of the eliminatables came for clout and not love. But, but you see, this is like... I right, so I've watched... Uh, I've Figured watched a that. lot of reality TV, right? Growing up, like I'm older, like I'm in my thirties. You feel me? So me too. Yeah. I come from the real world, yeah. Jersey Shore. Let, I'm, gonna show y'all something. I'm gonna show y'all right. something that I didn't even show in the house because I didn't want people to know that I really watch reality TV, right? Right. Check this out. Tell me where this from. Bad Girls, Bad Girls Club. Club. This is season two. I did this shit when season two was out. Right? Damn. I've been watching TV since reality TV since Real World, Road Rules, Bad Girls Club started, all of that. So, remember Tequila Tequila, Flavor Flav, I Love New York. So, when I seen these shows, I never thought that it was on some we're really gonna find love. You know? It's TV. Wait, so, I, I didn't really... So, when I did Barbie show, I took that same mentality. And I was was on some like TV, this TV, this TV show TV, so I don't know if anybody really looking for love. You but know? you know like, what it was for me, like I've been doing the TV shit for so long that me doing this show, I really actually wanted to like give it a shot. See, yours was <laughs> different though. That's what would have gave you yet that's what's gonna give you your platform and everything because it's you're actually looking for love. Well, so I actually I ended up finding it. Well, you I got two, girls, right, got two right, right. friends, Chanel and the one that was just here, and Ling. So now the show is more so going to be about our relationship and like building our relationship and like you know just showing the difference between polyamory or po polygamy and monogamy shit like that because a lot of people don't understand it and a lot of people got questions but they don't know how to ask and, and it's like one of my biggest fear that was one of my biggest fear i don't know if anybody all right so when i got on the show i always think about how, what's going to happen after the show because that's what follows me so when, when i was exactly on the show, i did a poly show i think one of the cast members was like into poly and stuff so i think he knew a little bit more and i actually felt bad because it's like damn is that community gonna bash the fuck out of yeah. us now can i be honest with you yeah yeah of course. like that's the reason why i brought you is because before this goes left and the fans make it something that is not i want you to know barbie lex lucky I appreciate the art. I am not upset with y'all. We know I did it first. Now, if you try to deny it, then we're going to get into a, a, the facts. a, a fight. 
show the receipts. Yeah, we going to get into it. And we don't really want to get into all of that. Right. Let's not go back to Atlanta. Let's just, <laughs> you know what I mean? Keep it, keep it cute. Right. But bad fans been hitting me like mad. Like, yo, they stole y'all shit. So, like, I want people to know I don't give a fuck. Right. I personally don't give a fuck because the point of me bringing Polly to the forefront was to teach people and to show people about my life. Like, Polly is really my lifestyle. Like, you know what? I'm I'm just going to spill tea, right? Because a lot of people try to figure it out. Like, Cardi got mad bitches. You got this. You got that. I come from the game. I used to pimp. I was a pimp. I had hoes. So that's how I started in the poly shit. Right, right. I wasn't right. With I was just I'm not a hoe, though. I, no, I, I know. I know. I'm just clarifying. You know, we all here. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, no. Nah. I, I, I retired, right? I, I, I right. retired. No. Yeah. I retired from that lifestyle. You feel me? Like, nigga was facing life sentences and hella shit. Like, real life. So, like, I done been through hell and back with that shit. I'm finally at the point in my life where I'm like, okay, I actually want to try to be in a relationship. So I was like, fuck it. Let's put this shit on camera. Like, I'm going to, y'all are going to watch me transition from you could never be my girlfriend right. to I want I you to be my girlfriend. Be my, right. Somebody who know me, like, Chanel and Ling are starting to see it. They are mad about me being in a relationship. The girls are upset, which well, they, they already mad. don't like me, so we already know why. They mad. They mad. But I'm like that was my thing. Hated. Like going into the house, like that's what that was when I found that out. Like it was a whole community on this. I'm like, damn, I didn't they, know this was that deep. They are gonna question. I'm just going to keep it a beam because like it's very much so a dating show it very much so has like poly tendencies but it's not really poly because there's no relationship or relationships involved like poly would have been this, this is all of our bitch we all right. know this we cool right but but you know we gotta watch the show y'all yeah. might i don't know y'all might y'all might show us some shit yeah i, I gotta watch I, see, I gotta watch the show but, but i do there think, will like, be questions yeah, I was, because I like, say, they, they are gonna ask they're gonna question it especially the ones that are serious yeah because about it there's a real life it's I a mean, real hey, life I, it's I the, real I thing Real community. I got the LGBTQ community coming at me. They already going crazy. They think I fought lucky. I try telling them it's not me. They think I'm fighting all the girls in the house. I'm telling them I'm a stud that do not hit femmes. That is not me in the house fighting. Period. You know? And they still down my neck. Well, this beautiful lady sitting right here next to you. Um, Damn, I don't, I don't know if you, like, It'd be awkward because you just so damn pretty, Chanel. Right. Can you tell that this is a trans woman that you're speaking to? No. This is a trans woman and she fought something similar to herself, but they thought it was a girl. So she caught mad slack for fighting a female and being a trans. So this is the one person who understands what you're going through because mm -hmm. they was at her neck. Oh, you fought a girl. You fought a girl. You fought a girl. Right. Not, right. not knowing, but, not knowing the facts of yeah. you know when it you're was deep. trans and you're going through your transition and right. your hormone pills and your all that. So they don't, you know, it is what it is. But I definitely understand 100. percent People are judgmental. Like since I like got with Chanel since I went public about our relationship girl every day I gotta fight yeah man no right, no no seriously like it's a fight like my exes all kind of you fucking with a trans 
are you even gay anymore? I thought you like bitches. I'm like, look, look at her. I'm confused. Like, right. <laughs> What do y'all see that I don't see? Like, or what am I? You know what it is? It's just a word. That's all mm -hmm. it really is. It's mm -hmm. just a word. That's all. Yep. But that's look, that's word. really oh, what that. makes the fighting parts happen. It's just a word. Look, Once you I, get the word. I fucked up before because I was like in the middle of an argument with somebody about her. And I'm like getting hot because they like coming for my neck like oh you judging me it was like a a, a dl nigga basically who want to argue and he's like oh you judging me you da 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 and i'm like bro my girlfriend is, is a tranny now i didn't know that was an offensive word mm -hmm. because me? this, I, this I is the first that my son he's the first one i've ever been attracted to I've so i don't fucking know this I'm, and they like no you're not because if you were really dating one, you wouldn't call her that. And I'm like, I ain't even say nothing wrong. Then I tell her, and I'm like, yo, they coming for me. And she like, nah, you really ain't supposed to say that. And I'm like, oh, well, shit. I don't know. That so it's word like, is like calling.